However, I think Liz Truss has made a pretty impressive start to her premiership. She has the worst inheritance of a new prime minister since Winston Churchill, with the economic and energy crisis, largely caused by the Covid lockdowns and the war in Ukraine. She also had the awful tragedy of the Queen's death to deal with on her second day. This week we have seen a blizzard of announcements on the NHS, putting patients first, not before time, moving forward on fracking, not before time, and cutting taxes, a conservative government actually cutting taxes, there is a beauty to behold. They are all things that Liz Truss promised to do during her leadership election campaign, and all things any self-respecting conservative should want to see. Most satisfying of all for me has been new Deputy Prime Minister and Health Secretary Therese Coffey making clear she is also going to deliver on Liz Truss's pledge to dump Bori's nanny state obesity strategy. This would have been buy one get one free offers and any kind of special offers in shops on products Public Health England believed to be unhealthy, even dictating on which shelves those products could be displayed. This has been a personal crusade and I am delighted that common sense is going to prevail. I always say that the most conservative Prime Minister since I was first elected to Parliament has been Tony Blair, although that tends to say more about those that followed than him, but if Liz Truss carries on as she has started then I will certainly be revising that assertion. I wish her well. Peston is not the real deal if you want to know how metropolitan, London centric, left leaning, and out of touch the mainstream media is, you can always rely on Robert Peston to do the honours. Sure enough, he sniffily told his Twitter followers that another example of Liz Truss being prepared to do unpopular things is that 120,000 more benefit claimants will be asked to take active steps to seek more and better paid work, or face having their benefits reduced. Can I gently suggest to Robert that he might want to get out a bit more? Someone needs to tell him that his Twitter feed and his North London dinner parties are not particularly reflective of public opinion. Insisting that people on benefits, who are able to do so, work more than 9 hours a week is not unpopular, Robert, it is actually very popular among people in the real world. Nevertheless I have no doubt it is a hugely unpopular policy in the echo chamber newsrooms of ITN, BBC and Sky News. Give Holly and Phil a break the continuing furor over Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield's so-called view jumping at the Queen's lying in state shows no sign of abating. I know I'm in a minority here, I usually am, but I do not believe the criticism is fair. As they said, they did not file past the Queen's catafalque, they arrived into Westminster Hall beyond it and were escorted to the media area where they were recording a piece for their show. I am more perturbed about Holly wearing a face mask, which she seemed to do outside too. What on earth was that about? My money is on PayPal's demise after account closures I am sure I'm not alone in finding it chilling that PayPal has decided to close, without notice, accounts of organizations such as the Free Speech Union and us for them, freezing their access to funds given by the public. For PayPal to enter the political fray like this is outrageous, but I am sure it will ultimately prove an act of self-harm. Organizations that show such levels of conceit are almost certainly heading for a fall, and I hope the public will help speed their demise by boycotting them. I also hope the government and regulators intervene to stop companies behaving in such an appalling manner towards organizations and people operating within the law. PayPal's actions also go to show how misguided the online safety bill proposed by Boris' government, and still under consideration, is. 
This proposes allowing politically correct U.S. technology behemoths to determine what free speech is allowed on social media. Let us hope the bill sinks for good. Along with PayPal, 